to calculate the amount of heat in kilojoules required to vaporize 2.58 kilograms of water at its boiling point. Well, remember that we need to look at what are the key parts of information. Well, it tells me I've got 2.58 kilograms and it's water. Oh, and it's boiling point. So those are the key parts that are going to help me to solve this equation. Now, we need to start with the given. Okay, I've got the given, but what am I going to do with that? I know if I'm in doubt, I convert to moles, but then what am I going to do? Well, if it's got the keyword vaporize, I need to have the heat of vaporization. So de delta H of VAP equals 40.7 kilojoules per mole. And remember, this number is only valid at 100 degrees C. Now, are you not sure where I got that number? Make sure you check your textbook. You'll find the equation of converting a liquid to a gas for water, and it will give you the heat of vaporization. So I want to start with the given. It's always a great place to start. So I've got 2.58 kilograms. Now, when in doubt, what are you going to do? Well, you're always going to count to go to moles. Well, I want to go to moles, but I need grams to go to moles. So the first thing I need to do is I need to convert this into grams. So there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And that's awesome, right? Because so now those kilograms cancel, so I've got grams but I don't want grams, I've got to somehow get to heat. So when in doubt, I convert grams to moles, so I know that one mole of water, remember that's what we're talking about, weighs how much? Well, I look that up in the periodic table and I get 18.02 grams of water. So now my grams are gonna cancel. So now I've got moles, but I don't want moles, I want kilojoules. Well, I noticed that the thing I haven't used yet is right here, the heat of vaporization. And I want the moles to cancel, so the one mole goes on the bottom. The 40.7 kilojoules goes on the top. Now I notice that the moles cancel. I'm left with the units that I want, which are kilojoules. So you just do this on your handy-dandy little calculator. Hopefully, you should get 5827. Now, how many significant figures do we want? Well, 2.58 has 3. So I come to the 2, and I'm going to look at the 7 which is going to be 5830 kilojoules, or if you just love all that uh, scientific notation, please make sure you can write that as well. It's 5.83 times 10 to the third kilojoules.